Hello there tech heads and welcome back Hello there tech heads welcome back to my channel and in today's episode we will now start to build the RX782 Gundam PC. Again, this is the collaboration from ROG and Gundam. They have collaborated together to bring us this really, really cool looking, awesome Gundam mobile suit PC. So again, this is our motherboard. This is the Z490 Gundam Wi-Fi Gaming Motherboard Gundam Edition. Let's Again, this is all bundled with the Playbook Store bundle. I'll provide a link down below to their FB page so you guys could check them out. For our CPU, we will be using a 10th Gen Core i9 unlocked from Intel. For our storage, we have a 500GB of storage from Kingston. And for our memory, we will be having a 16GB total of memory from HyperX Fury. So let's go ahead and start building. Let's start with the motherboard. Here is our motherboard. Let's take a look. Let's examine the beauty of our motherboard. This is it. This is it. Bam! Take a look at that. Hey, I really like the Gundam at the back. It's printed. Yep, it's definitely, definitely printed. So I'm gonna lay this down and start reading the manual. Because guys, this is the first BC that I will build and I only did a couple of research. So I'm gonna fix the camera guys so you guys could see better if what I am doing is right. So step one is installing the CPU. Let's go ahead and take our CPU out. So I am told to be very careful and not to touch the bottom part of the CPU. So we will be doing that. And don't drop it. Carefully. We will now be installing the memory. Again, this is the HyperX Fury DDR4 RGB, 8 gigabytes each for a total of 16 gigabytes of memory. So that's it for our motherboard. I think we're ready to put this in the chassis now. So we're gonna clear up some room over here so that's it for the motherboard we will now we need the chassis so I'm going to pick that up and clear more space around here so again this is the RX 782 ROG Helios I'm gonna take out the tempered glasses both sides In this part, we will also be using the liquid cooler. So let's go ahead and take take it out. Here's what you need for your motherboard. This goes in the back of your motherboard. When you're done hooking up the back plate, that's the color black, you'll be needing this. And just twist it over here. Again, this is for your liquid cooler next up we will be installing this motherboard plate here in our chassis this comes with your motherboard box so you won't have to worry about that so in this part I will now attempt to load the motherboard on the chassis so wish me luck guys Let's have a closer look at our chassis. Here's the right side of our chassis. This is where our motherboard will be loaded. 
here will be our power supply and this is our cables tightly knit tucked here's the front side of our chassis and again the left side of our chassis where all our components will go here again this is where our power supply will go this is the motherboard and I think I'm going to load the radi radiator up the top and let's see where we go from that so now that we're done with that part I'm going to try and install the liquid cooler up here I think I'll have to remove this part too but first let's install the fans on the radiator so here again here is our radiator fresh from the box So, the cooler will be here at the top, so I will be removing this top part here in the chassis. The best part of the cooler, do not forget about the antenna of your Gundam head. So we're done with the motherboard, we're done with the cooler. Now it's time for our power supply. Here we go. Again, this is the ROG Strix 850 watts Gundam Indonesian gaming power supply. So let's go ahead and install it. So I'm going to take the power supply case out so that so that I can install our power supply. Seem to reach them, so I'm going to try and I'm going to try install the power supply without taking the case out. So first up let's go and install our wires into our power supply. Hey our random hands. So let's install our wires. The wires are pretty straightforward. You just need to mix and match. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. There are labels around our power supply so you won't get lost with the wiring. A little bit of ASMR. There we go. So apparently guys, I really do need to take out the power supply cover to install the power supply correctly and neatly but it's 12 mid it's past 12 midnight and I'm kinda tired it's been what 3 hours since I started building this and uh, I'm kinda tired so so I'm going to get back to you in the morning the next day so welcome back guys it's another day and it's time to build the pc again so there's a few things that i learned while reading the manuals i really do need to take off these two so that i could put my power supply in and apparently if you guys remember correctly yesterday i put I inserted all my cables. Apparently, I don't need to insert them all. Some of them are just only a spare, or some of them are used for expansion. So I took them out, and I'm just gonna go and see what I need to to make the PC work. So let's go ahead and do that. You know, this might be probably the best time to tell you about our sponsor. This episode is sponsored by no one and. No company. Oh. Well, anyway, back to work. So I finally took the panels out. This is where our hard drive will go. And here is this is where our power supply will go. And I think that's about it that I need to do. So that's my hard drive. 
right, this is our hard drive. It's a 2 terabyte from WD Blue PC hard drive. It didn't come with the bundle, but I still got them from the same store, from the Playbook store here at New Valley, so like that. Oh, and apparently you can move this from side to side, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it there. So, cables. Well, I'm going to need only three for now. That's the 4 pin connector that will go right here. Our CPU connector that will go right here. And our PCIe cable that will go through our graphics card later. So, I'm reading this how to install our wires because it's getting a little bit too too messy right now and I want to try to clean it up before I close it. It says here that our AIO needs to go down here somewhere down here over here so our AIO will go here. So this is our one by four way addressable cable. It's a three pin, so we will easily distinguish that. There we go. And this one goes somewhere over here. This one is our one by three way fan cable. Ah, uh, cable management. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. So I guess this is where the power lead cables of the chassis will go here at the very bottom right of our motherboard. So it's really simple, I think so. But <coughs> it says here in the motherboard manual. I think that's it. This one, I don't know this one. So it's the third day of me building this Gundam PC from from the Asus and Gundam collaboration, and uh, you can tell I'm kind of tired. This thing's been bugging me. This one and this one, the front RGB connector and two USB 3.0 connector. So I've been hang out for this last night. And I don't see any more sockets that I can connect them in the motherboard. So that's kind of sad because I wanted to use all of the components, the parts of the PC. But uh, we're getting nowhere with that. So I'm going to give you guys a quick recap of what we have done for the whole PC. So I connected our CPU cable from the power supply to our motherboard. It's a 8 pin right here. It goes only one way. So, and I connected our 10 port pin connector to our motherboard that is right here. Then we have our PCIe or our graphics card connector that is still dangled right here. Now we will be connecting our graphics card later. Here is our RGB fan socket that's connected right here and you know this three is connected right here and it's RGB lighting is over here they're connected in the back and into a single cable that is connected right here and we, and we have installed our 
SSD over here, that's a 500 gigabyte from Kingston. And we have our hard drive right here that is connected right here. Then we have our two front panel USB that is connected right here. I think that's about it. And also, uh, I've, learned, I've learned that I inserted both my RAM in the wrong place. You're supposed to insert your RAM in the B socket, which is kind of weird because letter B is the second word in the alphabet. So, who designed this? I just want to talk. So, anyway, I will be moving them later on to the B socket, both, both of them. And what else? Well, we have connected our AIO cooler, connected to our motherboard, and its RGB is connected to the motherboard as well over here. So I think that's about it. And I think we're ready to insert our graphics card. So let's go ahead and do that. And where's our graphics card? We have the big chunky boy, the GeForce RTX 38 Gundam Edition. Dun, dun, dun. Damn. Now take a quick look again at this big boy, big bad boy. We're going to, oh, it's still fake. We're going to be having a look at it, a look at it for the very first time. We're going to take it out in its plastic bag. Damn, have a look at that. Yes, 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 yes. Can I touch everything? Okay, yes, I can. So, have a look at that. Now, oh, I'm a 5'6 guy, so I have, I don't know, fairly large or standard sized arms. <laughs> so, this is one big boy. And it looks pretty. So, let's go ahead and install this into our chassis. So we've connected our graphics card and everything that needs to be connected. And before I try to close this baby up, I'm going to fire it up just to see if it is working. So let's go ahead and do that. So you guys be seeing firsthand if it's gonna work or not. Fingers crossed. Hope it will work. Let's start with the monitor. Right, the RGBs are working, which means our motherboard has power. And it's working. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Everyone? What's the procedure? Stay Wait, 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 wait. Shit, F. I forgot the HDMI cable. Wait. Oh no. I forgot the HDMI cable. But hey, everything seems to be working fine. Everything seems to be working alright. Uh, dude, I think I know your problem. You plugged the uh, cable not into the graphics card. So I think we need to plug the HDMI in the graphics card, not into the motherboard. I didn't know that. I think it's alive. It's alive. Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> it's alive! It's alive! Alive! Oh, where do we go from here? It's alive! Okay, now that we know it's alive and doing well, we didn't do anything wrong. I'm just going to rearrange everything and uh, make it prettier. That's it.
So this is it. This is the full back. I haven't arranged it. In fact, I have dismantled everything and it's all gone to pieces. So we're gonna go ahead and arrange this so I can have a better view at my back panel. I guess that's it for the back. Now let's go ahead and place the other tempered glass in the other side and let's fire it. Let's fire it up once more and see if it is still working. Round two, here we go. It's letting up. And power. Yep, it's lighting up, it's lighting up again, and it's alive! So it's alive guys, it's alive once more. What's next? What is next? Let me set up the mouse and keyboard over here. So uh, we all know that it's alive and doing well, but what now? So. I have set up over here. I guess this is our information. Uh, motherboard temperature, we are at 26 degrees. Information, our motherboard DZ490 Gundam Wi Fi. And our CPU is the i9 10th gen. And we have 3.60 gigahertz speed. I guess this is the speed of our RAM. It's a 3600 megahertz memory 16 gigabytes, so that's true. Here I haven't arranged it yet to have to occupy the bo boat slots of A2 and B2. And here is our fan profiles we have 1000 RPM, AIO pump around 2600 to 2700 RPM, storage. We have the M.2 Kingston, 200 gigabyte, and we're missing our second storage. That's the WD 2 terabyte hard drive. I think this is where we install our OS. So sadly to say, I will have to cut this video here. Aww. We have successfully built our PC. Uh, it seems to be working just fine. And all I have to do now is arrange our RAM. Cables seem fine to me. I don't know about you guys, but they look Okay, for now, for now, there are some cables that I may not be able to use. I mean, I mean USB slots that I may not be able to use. So, but yeah, everything seems to be working just right. So again, I will have cut the, I will have to cut the video here. So thank you for watching until the end. It's been three days since I have been building this and it was worth the effort and so that's it. Stay tuned for when we have successfully installed our OS and we are now be able to play in our PC. So that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Stay tuned in my next video. If you like more videos like this, please like and subscribe in my YouTube channel and Facebook page. I will link them down below. If you have any comments, tips, suggestions, or anything that you want to say, you can comment down below and I will try to leave you guys a reply. And that's it. Guys, thank you. See you in my next video.